Greetings all. Greetings uh, RWG Research, Open Source Energy. Uh, get ready for the experimental evidence for the final conclusions. Now, here I have my negative ion potential. Okay, this whole conductor here is charged. This is plume wave in here. Ion wind effect. Uh, static kinetic charge here. Um, what I did was I took, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how to uh, to shovel the coal into the, sho into the coal car now. Here's the first capacitor. Um, I simply have here a little metal nut and I wrapped some wire around it. It was already done. I'm just trying to uh, figure out a way to separate the two uh, conductors. Um, over here, I have a wire. This wire is uh, plugged right into a, a socket, the ground socket of a, a, an outlet, a regular outlet. Now watch what happens. If I bring it over here, the discharge is much more quickly. So this conductor now has the secondary charge. Uh, there's a gap here. See, if I take the charge directly off the, the vacuum, uh, it doesn't furnish anything. If I let it furnish the charge and I take it off of the secondary, I got an increase. Now, this first wire here, connecting here, is wrapped as a coil around this metal nut as my conductor and taped. Um, now I have a secondary Oops, sorry. Now I have a secondary cap. This cap here. I don't want to, you might not be able to see it, but it's definitely a bigger ceramic cap. Okay? Now watch what happens when I take this earth ground and touch it. Okay. The energy output went up substantially. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah. We're shoveling off a little bit. We're storing it into a larger capacitor here. I use this ground. Uh, it now becomes a positive charge rather than a negative charge because this ground acts as a greater negative charge. Therefore, in comparison, uh, yeah, uh, this now becomes less negative. So this becomes positive and this is more negative. Uh, so this is negative. Place it over here again. That's the secondary capacitor. Um, now, this is my, my, my coal car. This secondary capacitor is my coal car. Okay? Now, watch. Watch what happens here. I'm going to uh, see if it furnished the uh, charge from the vacuum, uh, as stated. Um, what do I need? What do I need? Oh, I got this little metal. I got this little wire here. Just, just so I could short out the... Uh, the larger capacitor to see if it furnished the charge. Here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Secondary charge. Continual charge. The secondary charge will be furnished if you secondary ground the uh, secondary uh, conductor here. Um, now, we're going to short again. Did it furnish a charge from the vacuum? Indeed it did, folks. So, now you have the theory that was placed out there by Tesla and Brown. And uh, who advanced it the most? Uh, explaining it in plain English, uh, Thomson Brown, or uh, Thomas Brown did. Or Thomas Bearden, I'm sorry. And so, yeah, we need a ground. Look at that charge being furnished. Shovel, 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 shovel. Ready, ready. Plug in your, plug in your, uh, plug in your socket. Ta-da! Success. So there you have it, folks. Free energy furnished from a negative dipole moment uh, that is continually furnished from the vacuum, uh, as stated. Uh, cheers and. Uh, Let's start developing this too. Let me see what you've got. Take care.